Hey, welcome back to the Gamer Guide channel, everybody. I am Rollin, and today we're checking out a new game called Cuisine Royale. I think it's kind of a half-serious game, uh, originally made as a joke, they said, for April Fool's, but uh, turned into a real thing. Uh, we're, it's a standard battle royale we're all used to these days, uh, but this time you equip uh, kitchen utensils to your body. And uh, besides that, it's pretty typical. You get your uh, guns and stuff. I heard about this game uh, through Mataj, who's kind of like the community manager of Gaijin. Uh, yeah, same people that uh, make Cross Out or distribute Cross Out also distribute this game. So he was telling me about an email. I said, why not? Let's check it out. It's free to play right now on Steam. And uh, I said, well, let's uh, give it a try. So this is my second game. The first game, I was just kind of figuring out the controls and what does what. Uh, I am not much of a Battle Royale player. Uh, I highly doubt I'm going to get a victory here, uh, but uh, it's just going to be kind of fun to check out. I just want to see what this game actually looks like. <laughs> what did I just pick up? Something with a, a magazine? A dirty magazine? I'm not sure. There we go. An IV bag. This is what you need. I'm sure this is probably going to give you back health if I get shot. Not 100%. Like I said, it's my second game. Um, I like the scenery here, though. It looks pretty good, I'd say, and it runs really smoothly. Oh, someone's out there causing havoc. Um... So, like, impressed with the overall mechanics of the game. It seems like, you know, it's flushed out, it works well. And uh, who doesn't love the ducky boxers, too, right? That's a little bonus. And now I have a halo and a <laughs> IV bag. So we're good to go. And I got a rifle. Uh, right, so we're going to do a little exploring here real quick. I'm just going to head out to the forest as I heard all that machine gun fire. I'm just trying to get away from something that draws a lot of attention, like those houses, which I've pretty much already cleaned out anyway. So, so far so good. I like the forest here too, it's really nice. Lots of cover, for sure. So if you want to do a little hiding in the bushes, this is definitely the game to do it. And it seems like lots of buildings too, from what I've seen so far. Oh, we've got a doghouse. I wonder if you can crawl up in that. <laughs> Might have to try that at some future point if I keep playing this cuisine. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I love how we have a fridge drop in this game instead of a box. So I guess in this, if the instead of the uh, bo tread loot boxes dropping from the sky, you just look for fridges out in the field and grab you some pizza. Small bag and some other junk there. It looks like I can pick up, but uh, feeling a little better. We got a pasta dish and some utensils now on our back to help armor us up. I'm sure that later will come in handy. I also got a <laughs> looks like a pork fork or something. All right, there's some somebody's got a serious weapon. This. This rifle is a single shotter. So I probably don't want to meet that guy with the super duper machine gun. Let's see if we can f tell which direction it's coming from. I'm just going to keep scouting out, keep our eyes peeled here in the forest. See if we can find anybody coming through. Alright, we got a road coming up here, so I need to be a little careful. So it's going to give line of sight all the way down. Let's head over here. I just want to see if I can see. What's going on with this battle? Maybe we, we can pick up uh, some weaponry off whoever just got murdered by that machine gun. Or some more armor at the very least. Is that my breath? That's kind of cool. So you can see traces of people's breath in the game. That's pretty good detail for these developers here. So far, pretty impressed with this game. Very simple on the intro screen, I'll say. I mean, there wasn't a lot of options. It's basically, you know, choose, uh, I think, basics of your character, and then it's like start. You know, maybe set up your controls. I'm just using the default controls here. Nothing too special. I'll check that out. we got another building up here. I bet you that's where that machine gun fire was coming from. I'm going to get out of the line of sight. We'll kind of go up in the trees here and see if we can sneak closer to the building without be becoming an obvious target out in the open. Use some of these bushes here for cover, hopefully. No one's in there looking this direction at the moment. All right, you can kind of see it on the map, too. It's that little gray dot. I have absolutely no idea where everything was laid out. But we're heading here anyway. Ah, look at us. Yep, somebody definitely got murdered inside here. And there's tons of stuff. Oh, did I just pick up a machine gun? Sweet. Nice. Is that some more ammo? We'll take that too if we can. No, can't take it. Guess we're uh, full. We've got another knife, but I think the axe is probably better. I'm not sure. But dude, I got a whole, whole on kitchen on my back now. And check out all the machine guns here too. I wonder if we can use those to take out people outside if they have ammo in them. Probably. 
Somebody obviously got ambushed here. Somebody snuck up on him and shot him in the back. Look at all the area you can cover, though, with this thing. This is a great defensive position if you're playing a team battle game. In fact, with this layout, I wouldn't be surprised at all if this game originally started as like a team competitive game, and they're just like, well, looks like Battle Royale's what's going on. Let's just change the, <laughs> the game mechanics and make it a Battle Royale instead of a team cooperative. All right, let's see. we got another house coming up here. We'll try to head out that direction. Ooh, eyeglasses. Okay. Does this mean I can aim better or something? I'm not sure, but I imagine it's got to do something like that. Improve your aiming or improve something. Maybe... Ooh, look. Actually found another player. I don't think he saw me. <laughs> oh, my God. That was a quick kill. That's one thing I noticed in this game, too. There's not really much forgiveness. It's like, if you see the enemy and you shoot them once, they're pretty much going to de be dead. So whoever shoots the other person first is the winner in this one, it seems like. Or maybe you just have to get a whole lot more armor than that dude was wearing. Okay, I'm just looking to see if there's anybody hiding out in these buildings before I just go storming in. Kind of trying to avoid people. Okay, could have been that guy that came out of here, but obviously someone's been through here. So I don't think we're going to find any loot, but we might be able to take cover for a little bit. Unless some of these other guys kill each other. Right now, looks like uh, we have 20 people left. So at least I've got the top 20, but I think we only started with, what, 30 players? <laughs> so it's not super impressive. What am I carrying? A Crown Royal bag? <laughs> I have some kind of shopping bag. It looks like a Crown Royal bag. Okay, so I need to go this way to get inside the next zone. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's just take it easy here. I haven't tried this yet. Okay, got it loaded up though. We could take the rifle or the machine gun, but the machine gun I only got 30 more shots with. So if I screw up and miss on this next clip, I pretty much have to switch weapons. Looks like there's something here at the top of the hill. So let's go check that out real quick. Let's try not to get shot in the back on the way. Though I do have a uh, nice piece of armor on the back now. It's like a serving dish. It's another bunker type structure. This looks like some kind of maybe cannon installment or something. But uh, obviously got destroyed. Alright, well at least we have a good lookout here. We can definitely uh, see anybody come in our direction. The only thing is they can see my little medical bag. My IV bag sticking up. So not going to be very hidden. Okay, we got another little settlement over here, a couple houses, and I don't see any windows really facing out this direction, so unless somebody's in those houses over on the other side, up in that second story, we're probably not at risk of being sniped, but I still want to try to make less noise, so I'm going to try crouching here. I love these flowers, man. This is this game looks beautiful, and the uh, ivy and all that. Well done. Margarine Astro. <laughs> what? So cooking supplies, very important to this game. All right, well, what is there to see here? Looks like no one's been in these, but this could be a trap, too. I don't know if there is actually traps in this game, like in some of the Battle Royales, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised. So a little caution is probably good. Or I just have somebody waiting inside with a shotgun. Hello! I brought you some Crown Royale and a pasta strainer. What's the. Where does this go? I'm packing some serious loot now. Alright, let's see if we can find some more houses to loot here, real quick. Anybody over here on this wall? So anyway, guys, if you want to check this out, uh, again, it's called Cuisine Royale. It is a free-to-play game. Um, I'm not sure exactly how they're going to monetize. I imagine there'll be uh, like cosmetic stuff you can buy and whatnot, just like any other Battle Royale games. Uh, but it does seem very smooth, and uh, if you're into this kind of game, I could definitely see in this be like an enjoyable, fun thing. Um, it's not as complex as like Fortnite or something where you have structures you got to drop and build. At least I haven't figured that out yet. Ooh, okay, I hear the wall coming. That's a little intimidating. The creepy wall coming up behind you. Looks like it's stopping right here, though. 
But anyway, um, yeah, seems like fun. Definitely worth checking out. I don't see anybody. I'm kind of waiting for people to like run inside the border here, and I'll shoot them as they're uh, coming in. But that plan doesn't seem to be working. Let's keep an eye out here in the field. Don't see anybody crossing it, so I guess we'll make a break for it. Go to the next little cluster of houses. I like that they're not exactly the same. They're all, like, customized, which is cool. Okay, I don't see anybody up here. This definitely is war-torn. I'm not sure what the backstory is here, and I think it even said on the uh, gaming description page that there isn't really a backstory. Is that a golf club? Yes, please. <laughs> now I can cook and golf at the same time. Let's go over the side here. All right, no one here so far. Only nine alive. All right, we've officially reached the top third of the pack here. And we'll kind of hide out here in the bushes, see if we can catch anybody out in the open. We need to also get inside the loop and uh, it's going to start closing in, it looks like, in another minute, 50 seconds. So if we get in here early, maybe we can catch some people running in at the last minute. At least that's the uh, plan here. Hmm. I'm not sure if this crouching actually helps. I'm not sure how far away people can hear me. One other cool thing I noticed is you can turn on your voice microphone so that people can hear you. Right now, I don't have it on. So, uh, you guys, I can talk to you guys, but uh, just like in other Battle Royale games, too, you can talk to other people. I haven't seen anybody for a long time. I think it's just the small player base in this makes it a lot less likely you're going to run into people. Let me know, guys, what you think of this game. All right, we've got more shots going on over here. Uh, it seems pretty, like, lighthearted and fun and still wall-polished. I mean, I have a waffle maker now for armor, leg armor. <laughs> so I can see people just getting a laugh out of this and uh, having something fun to do in the meantime. This has actually got pretty good reviews online, too. If you guys would, too, uh, thumbs up this video and uh, subscribe if you're new here to the channel. I'd appreciate that. It's been kind of a rough month or two here on my channel. I've noticed that uh, I've been losing more people than gaining, and I'm not sure if that's just the difference in the algorithm, or maybe uh, people just aren't into Crossout and Robocraft as much as they used to be, or something like that. Of course, I haven't been doing Robocraft videos for a while, so that could also be it. But, uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think, and... Uh, I'd appreciate your support. All right, let's see. Let's go here to this other bunker. This looks like even a little bit more substantial bunker than that first one we ran into. Oh, wow. It's probably not a good spot to be right in front of the uh, machine gun turret of a bunker. But it doesn't appear that anybody's in there. That scarecrow kind of freaked me out for a second. I thought there might be somebody out there. But no, just a decoy. All right, we got 30 more seconds. We're already inside the loot, so we don't really need to move. So we could camp out here in this bunker for a little bit. I'm just going to get up on the wall. Did I see somebody in there? I thought I saw a shadow in there, but that could just be my imagination. Let's go and crawl up inside and see if anybody's in here. I'm kind of sneaking in, being quiet, so maybe we can get the drop on somebody if they are up here. Nope, no one here. We do have lots of machine gun emplacements, though. All right, taking a quick peek around to see if anybody's out there that I can see. I'm sure I'm missing people. It'd be interesting to see if you guys have seen anybody that I missed. You should put a timestamp in the description and be like, Hey, dude, you missed the guy that ran right in front of your screen. <laughs> you know, a timestamp, such and such, that'd be funny to see. I'm just going to hang out here. I, I'm, I have a feeling like somebody else is going to come check this place out and try to climb up the ladder, and I'll just blast them in the face when they come up. Because this seems like a pretty good camping spot, especially if the uh, circle closes down here. All right, there's some fighting going on out to my right side. God, I don't see anybody, though. 
I hear him. This makes it a little easier to look out. Pistol versus machine gun. I have a pretty good feeling that the uh, machine gun came out victorious on that one. I wish we could unmount these machine guns from the turret. That would be awesome. Alright, should we see what's down here in the hole? Kind of want to see if there's actually somebody down here. Well, there's a cone or something up there. Oh, look, somebody was in here at one time. Either that or they... Looks like they got killed here, too. It's a great place to get knocked off. All right, the cone's not as good. I guess the thing's in red to signify the... <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> Look at my uh, soup hat. That is awesome. Shit, I think we gotta go. I hear the uh, border's closing in. Or the sound of the uh, border effect. I don't know how much damage it does, but if it's anything like uh, getting shot in this game, it's not going to be a good thing. That was risky as hell. It's jumping out the door, but we did it. All right, sounds like there's some gunfire going on in this direction. Okay, that's the way the wall's coming, though, so I'm going to head the other way. Yeah, I got to go this way. All right, let's see if we can luck out here and not get uh, spotted by somebody. I don't see anybody. All right, there's not much coverage out here. This is a burned down forest, it looks like. So we're kind of a sitting duck out here. Probably should head back to the vegetation. Or take cover behind these trees and hope no one's looking over here. Yeah, let's head back to the edge of the forest. We have a lot more bushes and stuff to uh, hide out at. I haven't seen any bullets whizzing past my head, so I think it's just a fight between two other people out in the forest. Or the guy's a really bad shot. Alright, 13 more seconds. There's a house over here. I can go check that out real quick. All right, let's head back. I guess we need to head this direction. Towards, we'll go towards this other uh, settlement, or other house. Shit! Where'd that come from? Damn it! Kill me so quick, I couldn't even see where he was coming from. I think that little red arrow was an indicator of where I should have looked. Well, anyway, guys, that's been uh, Cuisine Royale. Looks like I got uh, number fourth place on my uh, second attempt. Uh, I might try it again in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next episode. Later.